The Gulf Coast's hurricane history begins with the deadliest storm in U.S. history. The 1900 Galveston hurricane, a Category 4 storm, ripped across Galveston, flooding the island with a 15-foot storm surge. Nearly every structure was destroyed or damaged. With no sophisticated warning system, the U.S. Weather Bureau urged people to seek higher ground, but the warning went largely unheeded and as many as 8,000 people perished. The second worst storm to ever hit Texas, Hurricane Carla in 1961. The massive Category 4 storm made landfall near Corpus Christi, but the upper Texas coast took a beating too. More than 100 buildings in Galveston were destroyed. The hurricane was so big, its massive impacts were felt in Beaumont, 180 miles from landfall. Carla did nearly half a billion dollars in damage. The Gulf Coast remained relatively quiet until 1983, when record-setting Hurricane Alicia barreled across Galveston. Alicia, a Category 3 hurricane with winds of 115 miles per hour, was the costliest Texas tropical storm to date, causing nearly $2 billion in damages, 21 people were killed, 2,000 homes were destroyed, and nearly a million people lost power for days. Alicia was the biggest test yet for Galveston Seawall, which held firm and saved the coast from even more devastation. One of the worst storms to ever hit Southeast Texas, at least in terms of rainfall, wasn't even a hurricane. It was Tropical Storm Allison in 2001. Allison sat over Houston for days, dumping as much as 40 inches of rain in some places. The worst flooding was in Houston, where 70,000 homes were flooded, along with businesses and hospitals. 23 people died in Texas, most from drowning, and it caused $9 billion in damages. Allison was the first tropical storm to have its name retired without ever reaching hurricane strength. In 2005, with the nightmarish images of Hurricane Katrina still fresh in their minds, millions of Houstonians tried to evacuate ahead of Hurricane Rita, which was a monster, a Category 5 hurricane that appeared to be headed straight to the Bayou City. Every evacuation route from I-45 to State Highway 146 was pushed over capacity, with evacuees running out of gas or having their cars overheat, forcing them to sleep along the highways. Rita finally made landfall on September 24th, well east of Houston, near Sabine Pass, as a Category 3 hurricane. The biggest impacts for Houston? Some toppled trees, scattered power outages, and empty gas stations. Three years later, Hurricane Ike slammed the Gulf Coast near Galveston in the early morning hours of September 13th as a strong Category 2 storm, with winds of 110 miles per hour and devastating storm surge that topped 20 feet in some places. Ike smashed coastal homes, flooded thousands of other homes, and knocked out power to millions of customers for weeks. Nearly 50 people were killed in Texas. And with nearly $30 billion in damages, it remains the third costliest hurricane in U.S. history behind Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Sandy in 2012.